Hello students, let us begin this session with the solutions to the home assignment problems. Question number 1, given that y is equal to e to the power x into a cos x plus b sin x, take this as equation number 1. Differentiating with respect to x, we have y1 is equal to e to the power x into minus a into sin x plus b cos x plus a cos x plus b sin x into e to the power x. This implies y1 is equal to e to the power x into minus a sin x plus b cos x plus y. This implies y1 minus y is equal to e to the power x into minus a sin x plus b cos x. Take this as equation number 2. Again differentiating with respect to x, we have y2 minus y1 is equal to e to the power x into minus a cos x minus b sin x plus minus a sin x plus b cos x into e to the power x. This implies y2 minus y1 is equal to minus e to the power x a cos x plus b sin x plus e to the power x into minus a sin x plus b cos x. This implies y2 minus y1 is equal to minus y plus y1 minus y. This implies y2 minus 2y1 plus 2y is equal to 0 which is the required differential equation. Solution to the second problem. Center of the circle touching y axis at origin must lie on x axis. Let the center be a0. Therefore, radius is equal to a. Equation of the circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. That is equal to a square. This implies x square minus 2ax plus y square is equal to 0. Take this as equation number 1. Differentiating with respect to x, we have 2x minus 2a plus 2y into y1 is equal to 0. This implies a is equal to x plus y into y1. Putting this value of a in equation 1, we have x square minus 2x into x plus y into y1 plus y square is equal to 0. This implies x square minus 2x square minus 2x into y into y1 plus y square is equal to 0. This implies x square plus 2x y into y1 is equal to y square which is the required differential equation. Solution to question number 3. Equation of any parabola of such type can be written as x square is equal to 4ay. Take this as equation number 1 where a is an arbitrary constant. Differentiating with respect to x we have 2x is equal to 4a y1. This implies 4a is equal to 2x upon y1. Putting this value of 4a in first equation, we have x square is equal to 2x upon y1 into y. This implies x into y1 is equal to 2y, which is the required differential equation. Hello students. In this session, we shall discuss about the methods of solving first order, first degree differential equations. We shall discuss three methods of solving first order, first degree differential equations. First method will be about differential equations with variables separable. Second will be regarding homogeneous differential equations and third linear differential equations. Let us look into the first method of differential equations with variables separable. A first order first degree differential equation is of the form dy upon dx is equal to f of xy. Take this as equation 1. If f of xy can be expressed as a product g of x into h of y, where g of x is a function of x and h y is a function of y, then differential equation 1 is said to be of variable separable form. The differential equation 1 then has the form dy upon dx is equal to h of y into g of x. Take this as equation number 2. If h of y is not equal to 0, separating the variables in equation 2 can be rewritten as 1 upon h y into dy is equal to g x dx. Take this as equation number 3. 
integrating both sides of equation 3, we get integral 1 upon h y into d y is equal to integral g of x d x. This is equation number 4. Thus, equation 4 provides the solutions of the given differential equations in the form h of y is equal to g of x plus c. Here, h of y and g of x are the antiderivatives of 1 upon h y and g of x respectively and c is the arbitrary constant. Now, let us solve an example. Find the particular solution of the differential equation d y upon d x is equal to minus 4 x y square given that y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0. For the solution, if y is not equal to 0, the given differential equation can be written as d y upon y square is equal to minus 4 x d x. Take this as equation number 1. Integrating both sides of equation 1, we get integral d y upon y square is equal to minus 4 into integral x d x. This gives minus 1 upon y is equal to minus 2 x square plus c or y is equal to 1 upon 2 x square plus c. Take this as equation number 2. On substituting y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0 in equation 2, we get c is equal to minus 1. Now, substituting the value of c in equation 2, we get the particular solution of the given differential equation as y is equal to 1 upon 2 x square plus 1. Another example here, find the equation of the curve passing through the point minus 2 comma 3 given that the slope of the tangent to the curve at any point x y is 2 x upon y square. For the solution, we know that the slope of the tangent to a curve is given by d y upon d x. So, d y upon d x is equal to 2 x upon y square. Take this as equation number 1. Separating the variables in equation 1, we have y square d y is equal to 2 x into d x. Take this as equation number 2. On integrating both sides of this equation, we get integral y square d y is equal to integral 2 x into d x or y cube upon 3 is equal to x square plus c. Take this as equation number 3. On substituting x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 3 in equation 3, we get c is equal to 5. Now, substituting the value of c in equation 3, we have the equation of the required curve as y cube upon 3 is equal to x square plus 5 or y is equal to 3 x square plus 15 whole raised to 1 upon 3. Now, let us first discuss what are homogeneous differential equations. A differential equation which can be expressed in the form d y by d x is equal to f of x y or d x by d y is equal to g x y where f of x y and g of x y are homogeneous functions of degree 0 are called a homogeneous differential equations. Now, let us discuss how to solve homogeneous differential equations. To solve a homogeneous differential equation of the type d y upon d x is equal to f of x y that is equal to g of y upon x take this as equation number 1. We make the substitution y is equal to v into x. This is equation number 2. On differentiating equation 2 with respect to x, we get d y by d x is equal to v plus x into d v upon d x. Take this as equation number 3. On substituting the value of d y upon d x from equation 3 in equation 1, we get v plus x into d v upon d x is equal to g of v or x into d v upon d x is equal to g of v minus v. Take this as equation number 4. Now, separating the variables in equation 4, we get d v upon g of v minus v is equal to d x upon x. Take this as equation number 5. On integrating both sides of the equation 5, we get integral d v upon g of v minus v is equal to integral 1 upon x dx plus c. 
take this as equation number 6. Here equation 6 gives general solution that is primitive of the differential equation 1 when we replace v by y upon x. Now let us discuss an example regarding this. Show that the differential equation x minus y into dy by dx is equal to x plus 2y is homogeneous. For the solution, the given differential equation can be expressed as dy by dx is equal to x plus 2y upon x minus y. This can be written as dy by dx is equal to 1 plus 2y upon x divided by 1 minus y upon x which is obviously of the form g of y upon x. RHS of this differential equation is of the form g into y upon x and so it is a homogeneous function of degree 0. Now let us solve an example of homogeneous differential equation x into cos y upon x dy by dx is equal to y into cos y upon x plus x. For the solution the given differential equation can be written as dy upon dx is equal to y cos y upon x plus x divided by x cos y upon x. Take this as equation number 1. Now substituting y is equal to vx as equation 2. Differentiating this equation 2 we have dy upon dx is equal to v plus x into dv upon dx. Take this as equation number 3. On substituting the value of y and dy by dx in equation 1, we get v plus x into dv upon dx is equal to v cos v plus 1 upon cos v or x into dv upon dx is equal to v cos v plus 1 upon cos v minus v. That gives x into dv upon dx is equal to 1 upon cos v or cos v into dv is equal to dx upon x. Therefore, integral cos v into dv is equal to integral 1 upon x dx or sin v is equal to log of modulus x plus log of modulus c or sin v is equal to log of modulus cx. Replacing y by y upon x, we get sin of y upon x is equal to log of modulus cx which is the general solution of the differential equation 1. Now let us discuss first order linear differential equation. A differential equation of the form dy upon dx plus py is equal to q where p and q are constants or functions of x only is called a first order linear differential equation. For example, dy upon dx plus y is equal to sin x, dy upon dx plus 1 upon x into y is equal to e to the power x. Now let us discuss the steps involved to solve first order linear differential equation. First step is write the given differential equation in the form dy upon dx plus py is equal to q where p and q are constants or functions of x only. And the second step, find the integrating factor if that is equal to e raised to integral p dx. Third step is write the solution of the given differential equation as y into integral factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. In case the first order linear differential equation is in the form dx upon dy plus p 1 x is equal to q 1 where p 1 and q 1 are constants or functions of y only then integrating factor is equal to e raised to integral p 1 dx and the solution of the differential equation is given by x into integrating factor that is equal to integral q 1 into integrating factor into dy plus c. Now let us discuss one example based on this method. Find the equation of a curve passing through the origin given that the slope of the tangent to the curve at any point x y is equal to the sum of the coordinates of point. 
for the solution as per the given condition dy upon dx is equal to x plus y. Therefore, dy by dx plus minus 1 into y is equal to x. Take this as one equation and p is equal to minus 1 and q is equal to x here. Integrating factor therefore becomes e to the power integral p dx is equal to e to the power integral minus 1 dx that is equal to e to the power minus x. Solution of differential equation is given by y into e to the power minus x is equal to integral x into e to the power minus x dx plus c. That implies y into e to the power minus x is equal to x into e to the power minus x upon minus 1 minus integral 1 into e to the power minus x upon minus 1 dx plus c. That implies y into e to the power minus x that is equal to minus x into e to the power minus x minus e to the power minus x plus c. This implies y is equal to minus x minus 1 plus c into e to the power x. Take this as equation number 2. Since the curve passes through the origin 0, 0, 0 is equal to 0 minus 1 plus c e to the power 0. This implies c is equal to 1. Therefore, y is equal to minus x minus 1 plus e to the power x, which is the required equation of the curve. So, students, you have learnt the methods of solving the differential equations in three different cases. Thank you. Thank you.